He knew right where to hit us, our soft spot, art and money. Yes, my name's Mark Lanois. My recently deceased sister left you. Uh, oh, my. Is that an early form of color it's, printing? And I'd like you to show me where you would think of putting it. The Sotheby's label would have said black chalk, brown wash, red chalk. I just use colored pencils because I can't tell. Who's that? Marco Landis. Yeah, Mark Landis. I've been following Landis for four years now. I looked this one up and it showed up in a press release at the St. Louis University Museum of Art. And then I found the same one in three more museums. He's been doing it over 30 years, and I've found 46 museums in 20 states with more than 100 pieces that he's offered up to these institutions. But I just keep building my case. He messed with the wrong registrar. What's so strange about Landis is that he's not in it for the money. He likes to dupe museum professionals. He likes to see the stuff on display. There's kind of a performance art quality to the act. The art world's a very strange place. Matt Leininger has been the only person that has pursued this from the beginning. I just became obsessed with it, just like he is obsessed with making these paintings. What do you know of Matthew Leninger? I don't even know what he looks like. You realize he's been keeping tabs on you? Oh, yeah, I know all that. This is in six or seven museums, but they look so good and so real. Do you have any idea why at this point you haven't been prosecuted? Because I, I didn't do anything wrong or illegal. I decided to be a philanthropist. Who's that guy? Mark Landis. Who? Mark Landis. Yeah, it's Mark Landis. <laughs>